Hello designers, it's been a while here. Guess what? I'm back. Tutorials will be dropping back to back now. Do you understand? Tutorials will be dropping. Thank you all for all the subscriptions, for the comment, those that come to my WhatsApp, Instagram. Thank you all very much. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make this simple dress, okay? Simple dress. I use crepe fabric for this and we're just going to be getting right into the tutorial. So starting off, we're going to be using this dress block pattern. I have the tutorial on this channel already. So I'm going to link it down in the comment section and also in the description box. Please check it out there. You just need your dress block and the all of the tutorial is going to be as simple as ABC for you. And going forward on this channel, we're going to be making use a lot of our dress block with the tutorials that will still be coming up here. So just get your dress block. If you don't know how to draft it, please just check the comment section for the video. So after you've drafted your dress block, just come back here. So first of all, we're going to be working on both the front and the back. So I will separate the two, okay? We're going to be working on them separately. So I'm separating the two now. So I will work on the back first, then we will move to the back. So this is uh, the back first, then the front later. So this is the back. There's no much alteration I want to do at the back. I don't want to do alteration. I just want to do neck tightening. So at your neckline here, at the neck point, you're just going to do your neck tightening of 0 0.25. Okay, 0 0.25 for your neck tightening. That's what I would do. Okay, I wanted to do the deepen the neckline. So I just went down by two inches from the simple neckline just to like out the neckline to deep down a little too. then i'll do the neck tightening that i'm talking about that's 0.25 from your neck point i'll just go ahead to do that do you understand so just do your neckline and also you can do any type of neckline at the back if you want you can do any type of neckline at the back so this neck tightening is just to make sure your neckline is okay so i'm cutting off the excess pattern paper here and this is my back pattern so i will cut two pieces you know this is the back i'll cut two pieces so i'll make sure to add all my seam allowance at the center back i will add my zipper allowance and at the side back i will add my seam allowance then half inch around the neckline and also at the hem i'll add my emmy allowance so let's move to the front so here is my front pattern so for the front here we're going to be working on the upper part separate that's the bodies and also the damper that's like the skirt part of the dress so i'll slash it through the waistline okay i slash it at the waistline so we are going to work on the bodies first then we'll move to the skirt part of the dress so on the bodies here i'm going to do my neck tightening at the front you know when we did the back neck tightening we did 0 0.5 but uh, 0 0.25 but at the front again to do 0 0.5 there so that's what i did so the next thing i will do is just to like oh uh, like open the neckline a little bit okay so i didn't do that at the back but i'll go ahead to do it on the pattern later do you understand just do it on the pattern later then the next thing i'll do is to close the waist that and transfer it to the boss that now if you don't if you use if the pattern you use is not like boss that you know not everybody use pattern with boss that if you have your pattern that is not with boss that you can just manipulate your darts whichever way that you want so i'm trying to close the waist that now which i'll be doing but if you don't know anything about pattern drafting i'll just say you should just go and watch that video, uh, tutorial that i talked about at the beginning of this video okay but if you are conversant with pattern drafting already and you don't use like boss that you can just manipulate your on uh, that the way you want it so i'm just moving my dart i want the, a single dart on this so i'm moving the waist that to the bust do you understand i'm moving it to the bust so after closing the waist that i'll go ahead to open the bust that okay so that the pattern will relax so i'll go ahead to open the bust that right there so i will only be sewing the bust that on my pattern i will only sew the bust that on the pattern so i'm cutting off the excess paper that i have on this pattern here so i'll go ahead to trim off all the excess on this pattern and here we have the bodies okay so we, this is what we have the body so i'm trying to open up the boss that okay i'll be sewing it open like this 
okay uh, we're going to be seeing it when we're going to be sewing so this is what i have right here now so i'll go ahead now to I'll, i'm just showing you that i'll be sewing it this way so you're going to cut your front pattern on fold unlike the back that you're going to cut two pieces because of the or zipper at the center back but this you're going to cut it on fold right here you place it on your fabric and cut it out make sure you have all your necessary seam allowance round do you understand so now we're going to work on the skirt part there's if you look at the style there's peplum at the waist we're going to be cutting that do you understand we're going to be cutting that but let's cut off the excess pattern paper we have on this i will cut all the excess off so now the first thing i will do is at the waistline i'm going to contour the waistline by half inch when you're making a dress with even anything once you have joining at your waistline on a dress make sure you do this contouring for people that are flat tummy you can do half to one inch and if the person has very big tummy you do up to like 1.5 for them this is to eliminate any kind of folding around the waistline okay so make sure you do this so the next thing i'll do is to cut the peplum at the waist if you look at the style where we're going to see the, a peplum at the waist so make sure you have your pattern paper on fold like this i have this pattern paper on fold and you're going to place it directly at your center front can you see make sure now the length of your peplum is going to be determined by what you want though i want mine to stop at the hip line that's why i have it at the hip line you can make it shorter than that or longer but i will just say just let it be on the waistline okay let it stop on the hip line so i've used my pattern to trace it out then i'll go ahead to close my waist that so if you want to sew your darts you can decide to sew your darts but i mostly prefer to have my skirt without that so i mostly close my darts okay on the skirt pattern i mostly close it so i'm closing off my darts here so make sure you trace out your or skirt on another pattern paper here to achieve the peplum at the waist okay can you see that i just use the skirts to trace it out like this so this is the peplum here you now i told us that it must be on fold so this is the right side okay and this is the left side because if you look at the peplum at the waist is not the same okay the paper tier of this point so i just i use masking tape to hold it together so i'll be able to do the alterations that i need to do so i told us that it should be on fold like this this on fold here there's going to be the center so from the center here go in towards the left side by three inches okay from the center go at the at the, at the top part go in by three inches and at the down part here go in by one inch then you what you go ahead to connect like so then you go in from the down part here by two inches and you go ahead to what to connect it if you look at the peplum this is how the peplum looks like look at the picture very well you're going to see that this is how the, it looks like so at the right side you're going to see that it goes up so i went up about three inches here Okay, I wanted to do three inches. I think I do two point five. I did two point five here. Then use your curve, uh, your straight ruler to connect it to that point. Please watch this part very well. Then on the left side, instead of going up, you know, if you look at the picture, the left side goes up than the right side. So on the on the right side, instead of going up, so I went up by one inch at this point. Okay, and the next point I went up by three point five okay so please have those numbers in mind so i went in by three inches here by one inch here connect together two inches here then i connect this side 2.5 then this side one inch up then 3.5 here please note all the numbers there so i'll go ahead to what to cut this open because that's how the peplum and the waist looks like on the on the page in the picture okay the style inspiration that we are using for this tutorial okay so this is the left side and this is the right side so everything is just coming together right now so i'll go ahead to cut two pieces can you see so this is how it looks like on the waist please check the picture again so that this is how it looks like so now we're going to cut two pieces for each okay the reason is because it, it's going to serve as lining though if you're using separate lining you may not use your main uh, your fashion fabric as your lining but i would just prefer to use a fashion fabric as your lining and also if you want you can hire interfacing but i didn't hire interfacing on mine so at this point i've cut out my fabric 
Can you see? So this is the center back. I added my next stretching allowance at the hem, at the center back, at the side back, around the neckline, half inch. And I cut out facing, okay? I used facing for this, so I cut out facing. So that's what I'm explaining here. So this is the back separate. And this is the front part. This is the skirt part of the front part here. I've added my necessary seam allowance. And this is the oh, bodies. Can you see? See how I cut out the uh, boss dart area. I added half inch inside in order to be able to join my boss dart. So when you're joining your boss dart, it will not get to that point. If you look at what I have here, I did not cut it to that point of the boss point. You should leave about one inch away. So I have 1.5 here because there's half inch for seam allowance. So when you're joining your darts on your pattern like this, you should not get that boss point. Your dart should stop one inch. Even if it's waist that, it should stop one inch uh, to the boss point. Do you understand? So this is the front here. I removed my pattern in order for me to sew it. So I will go ahead to sew my darts on both sides like that. Can you see? On both sides like that. So, and also... Okay, and think this is the back. I'll go ahead to join the dart at the back to sew the dart at the back. And here is the peplum at the waist. I've cut it out, adding the necessary seam allowance. So I'll go ahead to join it at the center back. Okay, I'll go ahead to join it at the center front and also at the down part, leaving the side and also the waistline. The part that will join to the waistline open. Okay, I'll leave those areas open. So right here, I have my bodies i've joined the darts okay i've joined the balls that already can you see it here so if you look at the style inspiration very well you're going to see that there is uh, like a pleat at the front okay so this pleat at the front is what you're going to do now so you're going to measure what you have from your shoulder to your waist then you multiply it by three so whatever you have i have 16 there so well, 16 uh, times three that's 48 plus one inch I added so I cut in 49 inch long fabric and I have this about three inches. So you can if you want you can fold it, have it on fold instead of hemming it like I did. I cut four inches, then I fold it with I hemmed it with one inch. But if you have enough fabric, you may decide to just what to just have it on fold. Then at the center of your uh, shoulder, we can see at the center of my shoulder, that's where I'll start my pleat. So I'll pleat this fabric from the top down to the waistline okay following from the center of this shoulder so this is this should be on your left side okay it should be on your left side so that's where i'll be joining this part so can you see i've joined it here and i ironed it down so go ahead to join it and iron it down so here is my peplum that i've so at the center front and also at the down part here can you see can you see that this is coming up uh, together see everything so i'll go ahead to pin this to the waistline okay i'll pin this to the waistline then i'll get the sketch part can you see the sketch part of the front for the dress so i've got it here so i'll pin the peplum to the waist first then i will now pin the sketch in order to join it together at once if you want you can join the peplum to the waistline first then you join the sketch later but i just want to do the two together at once by just pinning so make sure you pin pinning is very important make sure they align very well okay you know the left side is oh like the difference between the left side and the oh the right side make sure they align at the waistline very well you set this very well and you go ahead to what to place your skirts on it and you pin can you see so I'll place my skirts on it on oh, on uh, the waistline there and go ahead to pin so make sure you paint it very well okay so after painting i will go ahead to, uh, to join it together at the waistline and i will get my back so uh, for the back i've already joined the darts and also add the zipper to the back already okay so here is the waistline can you see so can you see let me just show see how it looks like here can you see this is beautiful right so let me go and join it and bring it back then we continue the sewing process so i'll go ahead to join it together at the waistline and bring it back to continue the rest of the process here so this is it here can you see i've joined it so make sure you iron as you are sewing you iron okay make sure you're ironing so this is the back i've joined the dots at the back i added the zipper at the back too okay added the zipper at the back so the next thing i'll do now is just to what to join this together at the shoulder 
and also at the side so make sure you pin it together at the shoulder there okay i like pinning pinning is very important when you're sewing just for balance sake so i'll go ahead to high up pin this at the shoulder and also at the side and i'll go ahead to join it together like so so let me go ahead and do that and bring it back to show us okay so can you see i've joined this together at the side and also at the shoulder and i went ahead to iron it too okay and it's important then i have my sleeve if you look at the style inspiration at the hem too i use emmy gum to finish the hem when i'm working with scrap i like to finish it with emmy gum at the hem so i have small sleeve here because my fabric was not enough well, from the style inspiration you can see that it is long sleeve there so you can decide to use the long sleeve a short sleeve or another type of sleeve that you want and that is the dress so can you see so this is the end result so thank you very much for being here for watching so the tutorials will be dropping back to back so if you've not subscribed please kindly click on the subscribe button make sure to like this video and also i want to hear from you in the comment section so thank you very much catch you later bye